This video is sponsored by 3D Maker Pro. On this channel, we have seen and reviewed together a lot of 3D scanning devices from the POP2 to the Lynx scanner. And with each, there is always something that you want to improve upon. Maybe the quality isn't good enough, maybe the scan loses tracking very quickly or can't resume the scan correctly. And while the scanner we're gonna talk about today isn't gonna be perfect, I think it is gonna be better than its previous predecessors. The most 3D scanner from 3D Maker Pro is a compact and portable scanner that ticks a lot of boxes and could be a great solution for both professionals and enthusiasts. This latest AI-powered high-precision scanner has a new and innovative point cloud algorithm that is both efficient and delivers better results, with easy-to-use features like AI visual tracking, anti-shake modules, marker-free technology, and decent software that goes along with it even though I have some stuff to say about the software experience in a bit. The new scanner comes in two variants, the Moose and the Moose Lite. The Moose Lite is tagged as a cost-effective version of the scanner, and of course, it's gonna be cheaper and with basically the same feature set. So let's see how the device works. For transparency, the sample has been actually provided by 3D Maker Pro. First, some specs. The Moose 3D scanner boasts an accuracy of 0.03 mm with a resolution of 0.07 mm and its capture range is 200 by 100 mm. The scanner is equipped with an RGB camera so you can capture textures as well which is a great thing. A typical object size that would be perfect to scan with the mousse of course should be between 15 to 1500 mm which is very generous. This means you can scan small objects as well as somewhat big objects. And the scanner weighs 280 grams and uses a USB 2.0 interface. On the other hand, for the light version, there are a few differences like the accuracy and the resolution, with 0.05 and 0.1 mm respectively. And there are no color textures, so the rest is basically the exact same. Now, Spoiler alert, I already opened the box, but I wanted to give you the unboxing experience, so here is what you can expect in the box. For transparency, this is actually the second package sent by 3D Maker Pro, because the first one had some issues, and immediately this one looks smaller from the last one. Well, you didn't see the last one, but you will have to take my word for it. In the box, you're gonna find the scanner itself, in addition to a 65 watt GAN charger and this long box which contains a charger adapter, also the safety cord, a USB Type-C cable, and this is only one cable for everything which I am always here for. I think 3D Maker Pro moving to one cable for all their product is great, because I'm sick of all these data and power and 3-in-1 cables. Hopefully in the future it's gonna be the wireless out of the box. You can actually do it right now with a smart grip, but why not just equip it with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi? I'm not sure if you can transfer 3D scanning data through wireless connection reliably, but I'm just thinking out loud right now. And lastly, this tripod screw thingy, which I'm assuming is for the smart grip, which I don't have by the way, so we can probably throw it away. One of the biggest additions to the 3D Maker Pro lineup this time around is AI visual tracking which is a way to intelligently identify inconsistencies in your scans. The AI will also attempt to enhance surface feature detection, resulting in more precise and accurate scans. Not only that, because if you ever tried to scan anything before, you know that overlapping and misaligned geometry is a b Censor that, please. Well, with this new AI power tool, you can say goodbye to that. I mean misaligned point cloud data because now the software can automatically detect fringe geometry and it is able to merge it perfectly with the main model. And this will result in better quality and better scans overall, not to mention saving you a lot of time cleaning stuff after scanning. On the same topic of making scans easier, the new smart error correction feature that comes with the Moose allows the scanner to automatically correct faults, in addition to misalignments and other common issues that usually happen during the scan. This further allows you to focus on the scanning and less on adjusting parameters, and fiddling around with settings and dealing with errors. JM Studio can now easily stitch scans together automatically, and this is a big plus for any 3D scanner. And for the software side of things, we've got JM Studio, 
which is an outstanding scanning software, which is completely free, and with this update, it has even better features. Now you can edit your scans like never before, and you can export to a plethora of different formats, like FBX, OBJ, and STL, which allows you to import your scans to any 3D printing software, or any 3D software for that matter, like Blender, Max, Maya, and so on. To start scanning, just hook your scanner using the Type-C included cable, but wait until you see the indicator light up. Now fire up the JM Studio and choose Easy Scan. This first panel will show you exactly how and what is the best practices when scanning. It also acts as a mini tutorial to get familiar with the interface, so you should pay close attention to this. But if you want to jump straight to action, click Easy Scan and point the scanner at your object, preferably on the turntable and then hit scan. Also make sure the distance indicator on the left is on the blue area and scan away once you feel like the point cloud captured all the angles of your object and then hit stop. And that's it, nice and easy. So this is it, the Moose Scanner, AI visual tracking, anti-shake modules, and high accuracy, which are just some of the stuff it offers and it is capable of scanning depths of up to 100 millimeters so you can easily capture objects with complex structures, but like any other 3D scanner, it is better to keep away from the dark colors, also reflective and refractive objects. But if needed, you can just spray the object with a 3D scanning spray or baby formula powder if you don't mind the mess. Oh, also another thing, this was last minute, 3D Maker Pro are launching a brand day campaign, and they are dubbing it Maker Madness, very interesting name here, but what's important for you is that they are promising never before discounts on all their lineups this summer. So it is basically a huge summer sale, pretty much. When is that sale you might ask? Well, they just said summer or maybe next week, maybe next month. But stay on the lookout if you want to snag one of these bad boys. And there you have it guys. If you're interested in the most 3D scanner, the sale and all those good stuff, Follow the link in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.